What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about two things that I love. Castlevania and Metroid. These games have been pivotal parts of my life. They've molded me into the gamer I am today. I absolutely am in love with both of these franchises. Castlevania, an early Konami game that was almost the birth of the RPG type of gaming experience. Castlevania 2 playing as Simon Belmont, finding items, using items to defeat bosses, using items to uh, access new places and areas of the game was really like one of, on the cusp of what RPG games are today. And of course, Metroid, an incredible side scroller with, with tons of hidden areas and really, really difficult, difficult bosses. Just a really, really fun game. Uh, and so over the years, we've really not seen much to remind us of the old school. The last great, great Castlevania games were on the Game Boy Advance. Castlevania Circle of the Moon, Aria of Sorrow. I don't like the one that came out on 3DS. Uh, the remake or the rehashes that came out on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 don't really feel like Castlevania Lords of Shadow. They feel like something else. They feel like God of War. And of course, we all know the history of, of Metro and how that story has been told. But an incredible thing has kind of come to light recently. The creator of the Castlevania series, Koji Igarashi, wants to make a Metroid game. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a term, Metroidvania. It's a game that's made in the same or similar style as a Metroid game and a Castlevania game. Uh, there's tons of them that exist nowadays, but Metroidvania is kind of its own genre. And so the creator of Castlevania wants to make a Metroid game, Nintendo should jump all over this. Of course, right now he's making the game Bloodstained, which I did see. I haven't played it, but I wasn't super impressed by what I saw. But this man's a genius, especially when it comes to the Metroidvania style of game. And this is like a dream that every fan of Castlevania and every fan of Metroid would love to see happen in our lifetime. I'll drop a link in the description. Koji Igarashi wants to make a new Metroid game and Nintendo should let him do just that. In an interview with the famed Castlevania game designer Koji Igarashi, he seems more than a bit keen to give a Metroid game a go. This new interview with Igarashi over at Glixel mostly covers the upcoming game Bloodstained, which harks back to his work on a variety of classic Castlevania titles. However, towards the end of the article, he touches on Metroid. Now, Metroid is an important series when it comes to the latter Castlevania games that Igarashi worked on. This is because the Castlevania games moved away from the standard, linear type of level design to something more open-ended and requiring a degree of backtracking like in Metroid. However, Igarashi mentions that the shift to 3D in the Metroid Prime series somewhat excluded him from consideration for a new 2D Metroid game. As he explains, quote, Nintendo is very careful about protecting their IPs and making any changes to their games. Around the time that I was proving that I could do multiple titles and do them well, Nintendo had shifted to Metroid Prime and they were having success turning their 2D games into 3D. So they probably decided from that point on that Metroid was going to be a 3D game series. And by that rationale, my style of games didn't really fit their criteria. That would be my guess, end quote. As to whether Igarashi wants to make a new Metroid game, when asked, he simply said, quote, I would be incredibly honored, end quote. Personally, I can't think of someone better to do a classic 2D-style Metroid game. Igarashi clearly understands the design requirements for the series and gets 2D level design in a way that is sadly quite rare these days. The other thing that I take away from this interview is how refreshingly humble and honest Igarashi is. Considering how many game, quote, creators, end quote, believe their own hype, it's nice to see some genuine humility for a change. At the very least, we need a new 2D Metroid game, and the fact that the 3DS doesn't have one is something that Igarashi seems more than happy to correct. This would be awesome. Now, Igarashi's getting older, man. I feel so bad for the guy because he wanted to work and create Bloodstain with Konami, but they weren't supporting him. They didn't want to fund the game because they suck, so he went off and crowdfunded it. Of course, it saw immediate success, but this man working on a Nintendo side-scroller 2D game like Metroid would be the dream. It might be one of the best Metroids of all time. This man has a mind for that kind of stuff. And I, for one, would love to petition Nintendo, ask them to please allow Koji Igarashi to work on the next Metroid 2D game. And not for the, the, the 3DS, though. If you're going to make it, make it for the Switch. Make it something new. The 3DS is, is going out with the old trash, man. The 3DS, of course, people are still playing it. It's outselling the PlayStation 4 Pro in Japan. But, I mean, if you look at it, it just looks really dated, old, and crappy. We need to see a new Metroid game 
on the Switch, and that's about it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Koji Garashi showing interest in working on a new 2D Metroid game. We need that like we need to wake up tomorrow. It, it's something that we should all see happen. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up to show support. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you guys can support the channel by going to BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Take off.